So how Maverick started, we'd identified that there was a need in terms of the higher attaining students to sort of bring them on and also to put the skills that they learn in lessons into a context that um, wasn't a classroom context but it involved the learning that goes on in classrooms. It gives the students a, an opportunity to learn in an environment that's totally different to mm. them. It gives an opportunity to challenge themselves, not just against their peers in their academies but also against the, all the students across the academies, across the trust. Um, and it has that competitive element mm. and um, it really brings out that confidence in some of the students and motivates them I suppose to have a, a more of a general love of learning of science. Some students who are saying you know we really enjoyed that because a lot of the stuff that we do in lessons it's like we, we, we can we can do that and not that it becomes boring but they, they, they wanted something that really sort of upped the ante and they could really get the teeth into. So to be presented with challenges that we thought were, you know, potentially really tricky, and they absolutely devour that. I mean, you only have to look at the way they engage with the tasks and they get in and actively straight onto the tasks. It's just the vibe, the electricity, the atmosphere in the room. Yeah, I think it's one of those things as well that promotes resilience. Mm. It's promoting resilience, it's promoting... One thing that we, we, we really want to drive is more a push on independent learning. And I think we have put the students in a position where they have to yeah. work collaboratively, yeah. but independently as themselves, away from their teachers, away from other resources, and to, to think of new novel scenarios, which is, again, something which reverts back to the exam. The Mavericks is hopefully going to be something that we do for our year nine students, and we, we particularly choose to do it at this time of year because it comes with four options which hopefully will give schools the opportunity to, to promote triple science um, to some of their um, more able students and, and, and increase the capacity rate, increase the numbers, because we do so well with our triple science students. And that will then hopefully lead on to the year 10, mm -hmm. and then finally finish off with their uh, year 11 real stretch and challenge um, event. We set the scenario and we've got you know, different types of incredible sorts of examples of um, videos and resources that are being produced uh, in-house at Delta. And we create this narrative that there's global pandemics and that there is a um, climate crisis. And then this is gonna lead on to in year 10, uh, looking at potentially options maybe out of this planet. Yeah, and yeah. eventually in year 11, the students actually decide how they're gonna terraform a yeah. totally different exoplanet. Yep. You know, looking at how to create a climate and mm -hmm. how to grow plants in a different environment, different world and things. So, yeah. really exciting sort of things to engage the students. Yeah, get them thinking about colonisation um, as explorers, which is what humanity does, our destiny is out there amongst the stars. Now more than ever, there is a need for STEM careers and Mavericks is providing the perfect passport for our students to venture into a potential career in one of those fields. Indeed. It's it's really the science of today inspiring the scientists of tomorrow.